In this video, I'm gonna go over the Tucson housing market report for September, 2022. The US housing market continues to slow and I'm gonna go over the Tucson housing market report and what that means for buyers and sellers here in Tucson, Arizona. Hello, Tyler Ford here, Tucson, Arizona with eXp Realty and welcome to this episode of Living in Tucson, your Tucson real estate connection. And in this episode, we're gonna dive into the numbers in terms of the housing market for September, 2022. But things are definitely starting to change from a seller's market to a neutral's market and time will tell whether or not we enter into a buyer's market. But the feds raised rates 75 basis points, which does have an impact on mortgage rates and mortgage rates are now above 6%, which is the highest they've been since 2008. So with uh, inflation and the cost of living and gas coupled with uh, rising interest rates, it's definitely starting to put a squeeze on buyers being able to afford homes based on the current uh, levels in terms of price. We've seen double digit appreciation over the last couple of years. So coupled with double digit appreciation, higher interest rates, home affordability is the highest it's been. So I'm going to dive into the numbers and let you know what it means if you're a buyer or seller here in the Tucson housing market. The first thing I want to go over are mortgage interest rates and mortgage interest rates have a major impact on uh, the housing market from an affordability standpoint. And the feds have been aggressively raising rates in 2022, which has caused interest rates to more than double uh, since the beginning of 2022. Uh, so mortgage rates on a 30 year fixed as of this video are sitting at 6.66%. Uh, and on a 15 year fixed, you're looking at uh, 5.9 percent uh, but something that i want to cover in regards to mortgage rates and as we move from a seller's market to a neutral market and possibly a buyer's market one thing that uh, sellers are doing and if you're a buyer when you write a contract you want to do this as well and that is seller concessions. So if a seller is not offering seller concessions, as a buyer, you can put seller concessions in the contract. And what seller concessions do is it's the seller giving the buyer concessions that can be applied towards closing costs or what you can use the money for is to buy down your interest rate. So you can do a buy down, use that money to buy down the rate which then lowers your monthly payment. Uh, but again, you know, something when people are, are being approved for loans, the, more, the lenders are looking at what is called your debt to income ratio. And uh, typically it can't exceed 45 to maybe 50%. Uh, and that is your, your debt in relationship to your total income. And the mortgage payment is included in your DTI, debt to income ratio. So if you're getting seller concessions or if you're tight on what is called your DTI, you can get seller concessions to buy down that rate, which then lowers your debt to income ratio. Uh, and so not only does it lower your debt to income ratio, it also lowers your monthly payment. So just something to think about, whether you're a buyer or a seller, sellers offering seller concessions makes your property more attractive. And then if you're a buyer out there, uh, when you write the contract, uh, you wanna ask for seller concessions, especially as we begin to shift into a neutral market and uh, potentially a buyer's market. It's something that we're starting to see a lot more of. First number I wanna cover is what we call percentage of list. And that is when somebody lists the home in the MLS, what percentage of the list price are sellers getting? And in a normal healthy market, percentage of list is anywhere from about 92% upwards to 97%. And for quite some time now, percentage of list has been at 100% or slightly higher, meaning sellers uh, in, in, a, in the seller's market that we've been in have, be, have been getting their list price or slightly above. 
uh, but over the last, this is the second consecutive month where the percentage of list has now been less than 100%. So for September 2022, percentage of lists for single family homes was 98.5%. And for townhomes and condos, it was 97.9%. So we're now entering into that range of what it normally is, anywhere from 92 to 97%. Uh, so as a seller out there, uh, you can expect to no longer be getting 100% or higher and uh, be getting below your list price. And uh, if you're a buyer out there, the good news is we're entering more into a buyer friendly market. There's negotiating going on. There are you know multiple homes to look at where it's not as competitive as it's been over the last couple of years. So things are definitely starting to shift and we're entering into more of a buyer friendly market. The next number I want to cover is what we call month supply of inventory. And that is if no other homes were to hit the market today, how long would it take for all the inventory to be sold off in, in, in the MLS? And in a normal healthy market, month supply of inventory is anywhere from about two to maybe three Three and a half months and we've been well below that over the last couple years and uh, and month supply of inventory has been less than one month or 30 days uh, but things are definitely starting to change and as inventory levels are going up uh, month supply of inventory is increasing as well so we're entering into more of a buyer's friendly market uh, where homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer uh, and inventory levels are going up which is then increasing month supply of inventory. So month supply of inventory for single family homes uh, for September 2022 was 2.1 month, which is about 63 days of inventory in the MLS. For townhomes and condos, uh, it's 1.4 months, uh, which is right at about 42 days. So again, we've been at about 30 days or less and uh, now we're starting to see month supply of inventory go up just because inventory levels are going up, uh, which I'm gonna cover a little bit later in this video. The next number I wanna dive into is what we call average days on market. And that is when somebody lists a home in the MLS, how long does it take from the time that you list until the time that it goes under contract, which is called average days on market, not from the time that you list until it actually closes. And uh, average days on the market over the last couple years has been well below uh, the normal level of a normal healthy market. Uh, as everybody knows, homes have been selling super, super fast. So average days on market are starting to move up. It's still low relative to a normal healthy market. But again, as inventory levels uh, start to increase, homes are sitting longer just because there's more competition out there in terms of inventory and buyers now have more choices. Uh, so one thing, if you're a seller out there, it's so, so important. And I did a video a couple weeks ago, you can click up there in terms of how to price your home to sell for the most amount of money in the least amount of time. I would encourage you to watch that. Uh, but pricing your home correctly uh, in a changing market is so, so important. And it's the big mistake that sellers make. The one thing you wanna do if you're a seller out there, you wanna look at comps that are 60 to 90 days. I wouldn't go any further further than 90 days because this market's definitely changed. And if you look at comps uh, further back, you're going to have unrealistic expectations in terms of uh, the value of your home and also how long it will take to get it sold. So average days on market here in Tucson, Arizona for single family homes, September 2022 was uh, 28 days on average. Uh, homes are going from listing to under contract. And for townhomes and condos, the average days on market uh, was 25 days. So again, uh, if you price your home correctly, and that's so, so key, you know, homes are still selling uh, fairly quickly. But again, it's all about uh, pricing your home correctly uh, to get it sold within the average days on market. By now, you're probably wondering, what are home values doing here in Tucson, Arizona? And I'm going to dive into the numbers of what's going on. But in a normal healthy market, homes typically appreciate anywhere from four to eight percent on a really good year, maybe 10 percent. And over the last couple of years, we've seen double digit appreciation rates, which is unheard of. 
uh, but things are definitely starting to change. And if you go back to some of my past videos, I called the top of this market in May, June, and uh, we're definitely pulling back from the highs of May, June of 2022. And the majority of our appreciation, I, I, I should say all of our appreciation in 2022 came from uh, the beginning of the year, January, upwards to uh, June of 2022. And we've seen home prices now go sideways and a slight decline uh, for 2022. So single family homes, the median sales price for single family homes in the MLS was $376,730, which is a 9.2% year over year. And again, the 9.2% appreciation came uh, from January to June. And since then, we've seen a slight pullback. Uh, for single family homes, the median sales price was 250,000, uh, up year over year, 16.3%. And townhomes or condos are still kind of holding tight just because there's lower inventory, uh, the price point is lower, uh, and as home values have gotten out of hand, people have gravitated towards townhomes and condos just because they're much more affordable. Uh, so again, uh, the double digit appreciation rates, uh, in my opinion, are over, and we're gonna go back to a normal market in terms of homes now appreciating anywhere from about four to eight percent on a on on a given year and uh, again on a really good year you know you'll see 10 percent, maybe 12 but i think for right now those days are over the next number my favorite number and that is home inventory levels uh, economics 101 supply and demand and it's a number that i look at daily i think it's the leading indicator and uh, i've been watching it uh, like a hawk over last last year or so and each and every month i log into the mls and i do a live uh, where I've been tracking it on an Excel spreadsheet. So I'd encourage you to go look at the last one that I did, and then I've got one coming up if you really wanna dive into to home inventory levels. But again, Economics 101, uh, as we've seen supply go down and demand go up over the last couple of years, it's what's put major pressure on the home prices here in Tucson and the reason we've seen double digit appreciation rates. Well, that is starting to change and home inventory levels are definitely starting to go up so home inventory uh, homes listed in the MLS single-family homes in the MLS uh, for September 2022 there are 2,337 active listings uh, which is up 40.1% year over year so we've almost seen home inventory levels double uh, over the last year so for townhomes and condos uh, there were 273 active listings and uh, townhomes and condos up 33.2%. So again, moving into a more of a buyer's friendly market where buyers have more properties to look at, homes are sitting a little bit longer. Uh, and again, things are definitely starting to shift. Well, that wraps up my Tucson housing market report. And uh, I went over a handful of numbers that are my favorite. If you really wanna geek out on the numbers, I would encourage you to head on over to Tucson Homes and Lots. If you scroll down, uh, you're gonna see the housing market report. And then at the bottom of that, you can click on the full report uh, that dives deep into all the numbers and you can get a better handle on uh, what's going on here in the Tucson housing. Uh, but the one thing that I want to stress, especially if you're a seller, you want to price your home correctly. Overpricing your home, especially you know in a changing market, is the detriment to any listing. Uh, where your home's gonna be sitting on the market, people are no longer overpaying, uh, and you actually get end up getting, in my opinion, less uh, as a result of overpricing your home because your home sits a little bit longer. Uh, buyers then begin to ask, you know, what's wrong with this listing? Why hasn't it sold? So you're better off pricing it correctly right out of the gate. 
And like I said earlier, when you're looking at comps, only look, I would say 60 to 90 days back. If you look any further back than that, you're gonna have unrealistic expectations in terms of the market that we're in right now, in terms of days on market and uh, average dollar per square foot. So I would encourage you to do that. If you're a buyer out there, you definitely wanna be asking for seller concessions and, uh, and, and working with your lender in, in terms of finding out what you need in terms of buying down your rate to make your payment and your mortgage payment and your, your home that much more affordable. Uh, so those are my big takeaways in terms of this market, uh, pricing your home correctly, and then also seller concessions based on the current market that we're in. Keep in mind, we've got a 16 foot box moving truck. So if you use us to buy or sell a home, you're more than welcome to use our truck. And even after the fact down the road, if you ever need to move appliances or furniture or pick something up at Home Depot or Lowe's, you're more than welcome to use our truck. Hope you got value out of the Tucson housing market report for September 2022. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. And if you like this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Give me an internet high five by liking the video. Go ahead, smash that like button. And for more awesome videos about living in Tucson, your Tucson real estate connection, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, make it a great day.